Okay, so I'm over in the shop today with my buddy Mitchell. How you doing, bud? Awesome. Man. Good, good. He came down. We're going to build some uh, ice fishing lures for Flaming Gorge today. Um, I've put in three cups of Plastisol into the uh, Presto pot, and we've got a couple of uh, ounces of glow powder from Amazon. So we're going to get to work. I'm going to put, put Mitchell in charge of doing the plastics today. I'm going to be pouring some lead jigs for the plastics. And here pretty quick we'll uh, have some baits for this winter for bourbon and lake trout. So awesome. We'll get to it. Thanks for coming along. And I tested that stuff the other night and it is some glowing stuff. So it's gonna work really well this year. Just pour that in and stir it up and be happy. going to work good. So another trick I'm going to do this year that I haven't done in years past, I stole some coffee from the hotel and uh, we're going to pour it in here. This is the breakfast blend so hopefully it'll still work at night but I'm just going to add a thing of coffee for some scent. We'll see how that goes. What do you think about that Mitch? I like it. That ought to work. <laughs> Those uh, bourbon always look a little sleepy to me too so that might help them. I'm just going to pour it on. Why not? Why not? So. <laughs> oh man, these are going to be cookies and cream. <laughs> I like, I like. Yeah. Oh yeah, that smells nice. I like that. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice. Now it's looking like... Uh, Strawberry milk with cookies and cream. I'm liking this, Mitch. It's going to be good. I'm super excited to see how it turns out. Strawberry cookies and cream? <laughs> yeah. Nastiness. You know, it just doesn't look right to me, so I'm going to pop a little glitter in there. Okay, maybe a lot of glitter. Yeah, looks like we're gonna do a little more too. Okay, so this is a pearl color we're gonna add next. And we'll add quite a bit of that. We'll just kind of make it have a little zing to it. Ooh, that's plenty. That's gonna make it pop <laughs> nice. That should be nice. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so we've got Mitchell's building these for us. They're crawdads, four inch crawfish from Do It Molds. And then I've got this, I believe this is Fat Guys Fishing. It's a two and a half inch craw. I think these are gonna be killer this year for the bourbon. Just perfect size. I'm working with lead and I am pouring some jigs to go inside of those uh, tubes. So we'll pour one of them real quick and you guys probably already know how we do this, but we'll just throw, throw the camera down and show you how it goes. Okay, so we got our hooks in there. I'm just doing two different sizes, probably three eighths of an ounce and about a quarter of an ounce. I used to do half inch and one ounce for these burbot, but I like the, I like how I can feel the sensitivity better on these smaller ones. So that's probably a three eighths there, and this one here is a quarter. So that's just a simple jig that goes right in the inside of the uh, tube. And we'll cut the sprue off of this one. Done deal. And that's going to catch some fish. Like it, love it, want some more of it. Okay, so we got a couple days supply of these jigs. And uh, Mitchell's just rolling along down the Great American Highway. Look at all those babies, those nice two and a half inch craws. And then these are the four inch craws and they're just gonna be sweet. These are the bread and butter, but I really think, I haven't tried these on bourbon yet, but I don't know why those won't be better than these even. So very excited about this year. 
Now we're going to mix it up and do some smaller stuff. Um, so not necessarily for burbot, but it'll get the trout in the daytime. So appreciate Mitchell helping us on this one. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Rocking in the free world? Oh, yeah. I appreciate being here. Heck, yeah. This is fun. It is. Nice windy day. It's a good day to be inside in the Absolutely. shop. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. This is going to be my burbot baits this year, and I'm just thrilled to give them a shot. Um, I'll try to take a picture a little bit later on and show you how they glow. They're going to be purdy. So I want to thank Mitchell again for helping us out today, and uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Tight lines. Thanks, Mitchell.